Hello again, this is Jason Weaver with the Local Web Marketing System and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how offline marketing helps online and uh, vice versa as well but it's a really great concept because uh, a lot of you are doing great internet marketing by just doing great marketing in general offline. So the first thing that's important to know there's three different types of searches people are doing online in general. There's lots of different ways to break down the ways that they're searching and what they're searching for, but these are my three favorite. So directly if they go to Google and they type in yourwebsite.com, that is them. They know something about your brand. Um, in fact, maybe they've, they've gotten something from you in the past. Um, you know, that's me going to amazon.com all the time, right? Branded. So your brand. So somebody knows you, Maybe they're even just typing in like Amazon.com into Google and it comes up, go to the website, right? And the last one is generic, where they're just searching to solve a problem. They have a product or service in mind that they need or, you know, they're considering and you come up and then they come to your website. But they may have had no prior interaction with you. Uh, they still could have had some prior interaction with you, but they forgot your brand or they still want to know what else was out there. So we've all heard that it takes a lot of different touches of a customer before they turn into uh, of, a, of a potential customer before they turn into a customer, right? So this, uh, these can all play a part in those different touches that they have, especially your offline marketing uh, as they're coming online to learn more. So most have found that it's about seven touches with your brand gets people really ready to buy it. and as, as long as your product is more and more expensive the more and more of those touches you really do need um, so I mean you can definitely land to sell in one touch um, but if you can land to sell after they've had a couple experiences with you uh, or they had you on the back of their mind and then they're actually getting the mode okay finally I have enough money to go and buy that big product or service um, great they're ready they know about you so I'm going to use this example right here and we got this awesome gentleman who is a piano tuner, he also sells pianos, and he goes to an event. So say it's a fair, it's a show, something that he wants to promote at. He has this great brochure, he's taking names, he's doing all sorts of different stuff. So let's just say there are three different people. One of those people takes his brochure and then they immediately go to the internet after they see him and then they type in his, his website and go right there. So they go direct, right? Let's say another gentleman sees them at the show, kind of, you know, was interested in them, maybe doesn't take a brochure, but remembers their name, and he goes and he Googles Joe's Piano. And he comes up and he takes a look at his website, turns into customer, right? And then let's say there's finally another person he sees, maybe there's three or four piano guys there, he doesn't quite know what he wants to do, or you know, he saw it at an event, or somebody started talking to him about wouldn't it be nice if your kids learned how to play piano or learned a musical instrument, and they just went and looked online for Google, uh, they're Googling piano tuning, let's just say, or buy a piano, or what's the best piano to buy, right? And then they land on your website, because you've done good marketing on, uh, online as well. Um, so if you think about it, Google can actually measure these different types of searches right here. And so they know if you're doing legitimate business, and at least in comparison to your competitors, they know how much offline marketing you're doing pretty well, because they can gauge this. If nobody is searching your brand name, and nobody's directly going to your website, you're probably using Google Analytics. They got that information. And if you're not using it, they at least got it on their, your competitor, so it's fine. Go ahead and use it. I'm not saying don't use that. I use it all the time. I love it. But they should have a pretty good gauge of knowing if your offline company or business is doing some good work. I um, mean, of course, I've also done another post on reviews. That's another great signal for them as well. Real, real people they have real data on using their Gmail all the time, and then that person leaves your uh, review. It's great. It's great for you. So what I'm really getting at is this could be anything. You should definitely do more marketing, but you also have to think of it in the, gro the broad picture. Oh, everything helps each other. So this could be an event, this could be a magazine you're doing, some media, some social media. 
it could be door-to-door uh, -door stuff, it could be anything that causes people to think, um, you know, to be able to influence. I, I look at it as this, uh, you know, one of the hardest things to do is make it rain customers, right? There's usually a limited number of people in an area that need a product or service or know they need that product or service and then these are the types of things you can do to make it rain more because now you're, you're top of mind when they're out doing the, what they're doing and uh, when they come to the web you want to be the one they choose. So if this was a timeline right here where this is your first experience with the customer and right over here is where they buy, you just want to do as many different things as you can do to get those different touches in before they buy so that they know, like, and trust you as well. So uh, hopefully that was helpful for you. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions about offline marketing that works or what you should do. I uh, might even throw in a bonus for you later to be able to learn some more great trick tips and tricks. Once again, this is Jason Weaver with another episode from Local Web Marketing System.